Hi, this is Jim Kay from StairwayToVideo.com, the beginner site for video editing. I'm here with another one of my video tips. Today I'd like to show you a great way to capture professional sounding voice audio for your blog or YouTube videos. By using an app on your iPhone or Android smartphone, you'll be able to capture great audio using the built-in microphone on your phone. This tutorial is going to focus on an app called iTalk by Griffin, being used on an iPhone 4S but there are many other apps for iPhones and Android phones. I just happen to like iTalk. Once we use iTalk to record the audio, then we'll remove the noise in our audio by using a free software called Audacity. Once the noise removal has been done, importing the audio into your favorite video editing software can be done. Then it can be synced to the video. Okay, let's get started. All right, once you've downloaded whatever application you're going to use, and again, we're going to stick with iTalk by Griffin, uh, just so we've got something to talk about here. Um, you go into the application on your phone, you open it up, and here it is. So if you wanted to record something right now, you'd actually press this button, um, and th then you could start recording. But I wanted to show you some things first. Down here, you've got the different qualities. You've got good, better and best. The best is where I always put it because it's uh, recording in 44.1 kilohertz which is the highest quality for this uh, application. Uh, it uses the most memory but it is definitely the highest quality audio you can you can have on this. And then here I would recommend you know titling something like say for instance we're just going to do a we're, we're testing today so let's call it testing number eight and then click done. Um, so that's the name of it. So if we were, we were going to record, again, you'd press this record button, which I can't do at the moment because every time I do, it shuts off from my screencasting software and it just, I, I can't show you anything. So with the magic of video editing, we're going to pretend like we recorded this audio file here. And we're going to pretend like um, untitled number six is the one that we've just done. So you record, you'll hit that big red button again. We'll go back there just to show it to you. You record, this will say recording while you're recording, and then you want to press it to stop it. So you'll press this again, that'll stop it. It'll save it, and you'll go to done, and then say this number six is the one you've just done. Uh, you open it up, you can see it was on the best best quality. Um, it was done at 8.04 p.m. This is the length. It was done in this AIFF format, which we'll talk about later. And this is the file size. And if you wanted to send it to somebody, you could you could press this. It'll open up uh, an email. You'd click on the email, and you can send it off to yourself, which is great because you can send the file through the email, and then you can use it later on for um, you know when you're when you're syncing it to your uh, your video in your screencasting or whatever editing software you're going to use. So uh, we're going to cancel that right there. We're going to go back. So that's it. That's pretty much how you use it. And I'll, I'll show you live, or not live, but I'll show you how I use it and you can kind of see how it sort of works. That's, enough, that's it for right now. We'll, uh, we're going to now show the iTalk application in use. So fasten your safety belts. All right, the first thing I wanted to point out before you start any kind of audio recording or capture on your cell phone is to please put your phone in airplane mode. Uh, by doing that, no one will call you and interrupt you when you start getting started. There's nothing more nerve-wracking than to start your audio recording and be about a minute and a half into it and all of a sudden somebody calls you. <laughs> so anyway, be sure to do that so that nobody can call through. Okay, first thing, and I'm sorry to repeat myself, but that is to remember to put your phone in airplane mode if you haven't already done it. Um, that'll make sure nobody calls through when you're in the middle of uh, recording. All right, secondly, um, as we go to open up the app, I don't know if you can see this or not, probably not, but open up the app. Click the record button up here. Now you've got that big red button that I was telling you about in the video. Um, before we start though, what I wanted to tell you is again, you can put in your recording name in this little blank area here. And again, I always select the best setting on here that gives us the best quality audio you can get out of this application and then when you're ready you press the red button to record now I'm recording 
two ways here. I'm going to record through screencasting, um, and I'm also going to uh, record on here at the same time. Okay, we're ready to record, so I'm going to press the record button. We're going to give it two quick snaps or claps, whatever case you have. So I'm going to snap this twice. That'll allow us to sync up with our editor later on. And then we're going to give it five seconds of pause, so hopefully no noise. And now we're ready to, uh, to start. Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow, and everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. So we're done recording. Let's press, press to stop, press the red button again. Hit done. Now it's in here. I didn't title it, so it's in there. And now if we want to, we can email this to ourselves and put it into our video editing software. So don't forget to come in here and uh, Change your settings back, turn, take the airplane mode off so you can uh, receive cell phone calls again. Well, I found one minor glitch in the iTalk recorder app, and that is um, the audio file that I had was 3.5 megabytes, I think, and it won't allow you to email that size file. So I ended up having to use Dropbox. I had to um, purchase iTalk Premium uh, which is a uh, $1.99 on the iTunes store and so I could actually use Dropbox or email uh, that file to me. So with, uh, with that said, let's go into Audacity. Here's my Audacity software. Here's how I shipped it to myself, uh, emailed it to myself via Dropbox or sent it to myself via Dropbox. So I'm going to open it up. And here is the file. So if uh, we wanted to, we could actually, you know, play the file here. We're going to give it two quick snaps or claps, whatever case you have. So I'm going to snap this twice. Okay. So there's the file. Here's the uh, here's the little trick to um, giving yourself, you know, good clean audio. You take you take a segment like this. You go up to this um, effect and you go down to noise removal. It's going to ask this to get a noise profile. So you just click that once. What it does is it takes a noise profile of this part that doesn't make much noise, although it does make a hiss or some sort of a noise. Now once you've done that, then you go to effect, you select the, you select the whole thing now, and you go to effect, noise removal. You can play around with these buttons, but I found out pretty much if you just click OK now, it'll actually take the noise away from this whole audio file. And now you can listen to it. It should sound better. We're going to give it two quick snaps or claps, whatever case you have. So I'm going to snap this twice. That'll allow us to sync up with our editor later on. And then we're going to give it five seconds of pause, so hopefully no noise. All right, with that being said, now here's the only issue I found out. Remember back when we were talking about the file that uh, that the iTalk recorder um, saves to is an AIFF file? Well, um, my screencasting software won't accept an AIFF file, so what I have to do is I have to actually um, change this so I can export it and I can change it to a WAV file. So it automatically clicks, wants to select WAV file. I can hit save, hit OK. Now it just saved the same file as a WAV file and I can go in and use that to uh, pull into my video editing software. Alright, now you can see three files that I've pulled down into my timeline in my Camtasia software. This first file right here, that's the actual uh, audio file from my iPhone that I have in my hand up in this uh, video right here. The second file, which consists of these two, one is the video, one's the audio, and that's from the camera that was off to my left here. Um, 
and the third one is the basically the system the system files that was recording the screen um, and recording the audio through my uh, my pro mic that's right here so we've got three separate files the thing I wanted to show you is if you look at the spikes these are the spikes from where I, I snapped and we can play them right here it's gonna play all three of these from the time lag and here how off they're gonna be So you can see how, how they are off. The, the great thing about doing these snaps or claps, whatever you decide to do, is you can move these around on your timeline so that you can choose which is the best of the audio from your three devices to, to be able to use. So if I wanted to use, uh, say, this top one, which is the uh, audio file from the iPhone, I can just uh, you know move this around so that it matches up with the video on my second um, the camera. And if that's a better audio file, then I'll use that. If the one in my camera is a better audio file, I'll use that. Or if the system file is the best, I'll use that. But you can see how um, having those spikes and being able to line them up uh, makes it real easy for you to, to get these pretty darn close so that they look good on camera. We'll just try this here. So those are, those are still off. But you get what I'm saying. By having having this available here, you can line it up so that it looks good. So let's pull the... Let's pull the audio down from the top two, which would be the iPhone and from my actual camera. And we'll just use the audio from the screen casting. So listen to this. Snap this twice. So to me, that seems to sound the best as my system, but obviously it's because, you know, it's a, it's a professional microphone. So anyway, I just wanted to show you that, that that's the main reason that you, uh, you grab audio from different different devices and, and use them especially from this iPhone I could no problem use this iPhone audio I could collapse these down and just use the audio from the iPhone and, and move it around so that it matches up with the snaps of my fingers you can see it's a little bit off so if I move this one way or the other I can maybe match it up that's big time off so anyway you get the idea and uh, that's what's so great about that's better. That's what's so great about being able to uh, edit video and audio on your timeline. So, in conclusion, this review of the iTalk Recorder app by Griffin being used on an iPhone 4S has once again made me realize that you don't have to have the most expensive equipment to yield good results. I did find that you probably want to spend $1.99 on the premium version of iTalk Recorder so you can email larger files to your email account. I hope this video has helped you with your quest to better video editing. Thanks for watching. If you like this review, please subscribe to our channel and feel free to join us at www.stairwaytovideo.com for fun articles and techniques for beginner video editors. Thanks.